Hi, we're Jin and Cow. Welcome to our channel Below Zero Greens. And if it's your first time here, we hope you enjoy as we go through our gardening journey. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, we'll be unboxing our goodies that we purchased from Indoor Farmer. But before we get started, if you're curious as to what we're using, we've left a few links down below in the descriptions of those products. Just to let you guys know, we are not sponsored by Indoor Farmer, but we love their products that they supply and we wanted to let you guys know why. Now, for the unboxing. Ooh, cute little thank you card. But hey, shout out to Indoor Farmer and Bootstrap. Please sponsor us. All this wrapping to protect the merchandise. We already have these trays, but we purchased a few more 5x5s in the color blue this time. For what we do, they're the perfect size. We use them for microgreens, so check that video out if you want to know how we grow them. I'll leave a link in the bio. We also like to use them as seedling starters for our hydroponics. We purchase a few more domes of the smaller size. We also love the taller domes, as you can see, which are great for taller plants, like these peas over here. But personally, we prefer the shorter domes. Now for the main event. This over here is the new item that we're trying out. It's the Bootstrap 1020 Net Pot Tray, which has 18 holes. It's also available as a 32 hole tray, but for what we want to do, we don't need that many. As you can see over here, it can fit two inch net cups. We also purchased a Bootstrap 1020 Tall Tray. This is what it looks like close up, flip, and from underneath as well. Here's if you want to see the size difference of a regular size tray next to a shallow tray. So far we like using the shallow tray for microgreens. So our thoughts on this, why we bought more bootstrap trays is because we love how sturdy it feels. It doesn't feel like it'll snap in half, especially when lifting, like those cheaper generic ones you find at the stores. It's nice that the net pot tray fits perfectly on top of both trays. No struggle when placing and removing it. When it comes to cleaning, sometimes those roots and residues love to stick on the tray, if you know what I mean. And it's good to know that these trays can take a good scrub. Overall price-wise, it's a bit more expensive, but we find it's worth the money because we don't feel like we have to replace these for a good while. Just to show you, I have a two inch net cup over here and look how nicely it fits. A trick we found, if you want to cover up these extra holes to prevent algae from forming, we have this IKEA tray cover over here that surprisingly fits perfectly on top and it comes in two sizes. These tray covers are amazing and we love them as well. We have a video up on how to use them as DIY hydroponics. If you haven't seen it already, check it out. We also have these cute little domes we love to use from Aero Garden, which sits nicely on top of the two inch net cups. Well, there you have it. Today's a short and sweet video. If you want an update, we'll be posting more in the future if you want to see how well these plants have grown. If you have any tips and tricks or video requests, we'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. And we've left a few links of those products that we've used. Until next time, goodbye.